The book, The Highly Sensitive Person, by Elaine N. Aaron provides valuable insights into a specific group of individuals, comprising about one-fifth of the population, whose nervous systems perceive signals that go unnoticed by the average person. By increasing our knowledge and awareness, both individuals with heightened sensitivity and society as a whole can benefit. Elaine N. Aaron is an esteemed clinical psychologist who has dedicated her life's work to understanding highly sensitive people. Her groundbreaking research has been published in well-respected journals such as Counseling Today, Counseling and Human Development, and Brain and Behavior. Being a highly sensitive person herself, she has shared her extensive research and analysis in various books, including The Highly Sensitive Person in Love, The Highly Sensitive Child, and Psychotherapy in the Highly Sensitive Person. Are you someone who tends to avoid parties? Do you feel obligated to stay in certain situations to avoid hurting others' feelings? Does performing tasks in front of others create anxiety, even though you excel at them? Are you often admired for your ability to generate brilliant ideas? If you can relate to these experiences, chances are you are a highly sensitive person. Contrary to common misconceptions, being highly sensitive does not mean you are shy or trying to spoil the fun. Instead, you possess a unique talent for perceiving subtle nuances that others may overlook. Rather than worrying about this trait, you can benefit yourself and those around you by learning to manage and harness this special ability. This book will serve as a guide to help you understand and navigate your highly sensitive nature effectively. Idea 1. Embracing and Managing Your Unique Superpower Let's meet Rob and Rebecca, who are fraternal twins. At the age of three, they are about to become big brother and big sister, so a friendly couple is temporarily caring for them until the new baby arrives. When Rob enters his parents' room and sees strangers, he becomes terrified and screams. On the other hand, Rebecca greets the strangers and happily goes about her day. Rob's reaction is not due to shyness or anxiety. It's because he senses, smells, and hears things that Rebecca isn't able to perceive. Rob has inherited a highly sensitive nervous system. As he grows older, he may forget most of what happened in his childhood, but his body and subconscious will always remember. Rob will spend more time processing events and his dreams will be vivid, often reflecting what is happening in the real world. Sometimes, his dreams might even predict future events with surprising accuracy. If you can relate to Rob's experiences, you are among the 20% of people who possess this heightened sensitivity, or superpower. When Rob felt fear upon seeing strangers in his parents' bed, it wasn't necessarily fear itself. It was actually an overload of information that overwhelmed him. Highly sensitive people, also known as HSPs, often complain about loud music in bars, pick up on subtle signals like a colleague's wife disliking Christmas parties through a mere hint of a frown or can assess a person's character by observing how a florist arranges flowers. These subtle clues can be incredibly beneficial. If you are an HSP, they can enhance your enjoyment of sensory experiences such as laughter, music, work, and intimacy. However, it's important to maintain a balance. Each person has an optimal level of arousal. If you exceed this threshold, you may experience discomfort, and in extreme cases, even paralysis or panic. Of course, everyone has a sensory threshold, but what sets highly sensitive people apart is that their thresholds are lower. They may struggle with honking cars or large crowds, and some may even find it challenging to be in small groups for extended periods. Finding the right balance is key, considering exposure and intensity. HSPs need to take breaks and recharge when they surpass their personal limits. Idea 2. Self-care communication, and success strategies. A person seeking solitude retreated to a cave but found the sound of dripping water too overwhelming. This highlights the importance of flexibility for highly sensitive individuals, HSPs, in managing stimulation. To begin, practicing self-kindness is crucial. Prioritize your well-being by getting adequate sleep, maintaining a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and creating a safe and comfortable space for yourself. Forge deep and meaningful connections with like-minded individuals who share your values in service, art, or spirituality, as this can provide a sense of safety and understanding. 
recognize that external pressures may cause your body to rebel. Strive for greater autonomy in your employment choices and communicate with superiors to create an environment that accommodates your needs, ultimately increasing your flexibility. Embrace bursts of creativity and intuition, honing your analytical and predictive skills. Prioritize and follow through on projects to fully utilize your unique abilities. Performance anxiety is common among HSPs, regardless of whether they are extroverts. Combat this by dedicating time to preparation and entering meetings or presentations with supportive notes to enhance focus. Remember that social connections are important, albeit in different doses for HSPs. Communicate your need for breaks to loved ones, while occasionally making the effort to extend your social engagements, which can help raise your threshold for arousal. If raising a sensitive child, provide them with a secure attachment while fostering their confidence to explore and experiment. Meditation is an effective tool for calming HSPs. It not only offers healing benefits but also transforms negative experiences into positive growth. Reflect on past challenging situations, allow yourself to feel associated emotions, and then resolve to approach similar circumstances differently in the future. By practicing self-kindness, managing stimulation, effective preparation, open communication, and incorporating meditation, HSPs can thrive and lead fulfilling lives. Summary. Highly sensitive individuals inherit nervous systems that are more attuned than those of the average person, allowing them to perceive and process a greater amount of information from their environment. If you identify as highly sensitive, it is essential to understand how your mind and body function in response to stimulation. Approach yourself with kindness and compassion, gradually gaining autonomy in various areas of your life. Foster meaningful relationships, explore the world around you, and embrace the fact that your sensitivity is a unique gift that can positively impact those around you. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And in case you want to buy the book, use the link in the description. Trust me, you won't regret it.